again, this is the material, the dry weight washed material that we still have to process or screen over another 200 screen. This has a very significant amount of coarse aggregate material on it. We can't successfully put that onto our 200 screen to sim. IM306 gives us an exact process. It's on page three, step number eight. We need to box sieve this sample over a number eight box sieve to eliminate all the big material. This material, our step 8 and IM306, tells us to discard the plus 8 material and simply take the material that passes the 8 and put it into our 2 different sieve. IM306 also says that we should use a 150 sieve on top of the 200 that is only to protect the screen. So that is going to depend on how much fines, how many fines that you have. Again, in this case, we have such a small amount, we don't actually need to do the protection uh, with the 150. And in fact, we can just actually hand sieve this, again, because of the small amount of material. In our IM306, you'll notice that it does say that we Put it in the electric shaker, usually for no more than five minutes. Again, that is based on having a significant amount of minus eight material. So we simply hand sieve this in this situation. Again, with PC concrete stone, this is going to, as a rule, be more than appropriate for a We do not need to weigh the plus 200 because, again, we're not doing sieve analysis. The only thing we're looking for in this smaller separate sample is the total amount passing a number 200 sieve. That is washing loss, and then this material after dry sieving over a number 200 sieve. Record that weight. This is our pan weight in the bottom part of the sieve analysis worksheet where we had six grams of washing loss and we have an additional 1.4 grams of minus 200 dry sieved. We'll simply combine those two numbers which will give us a total of 7.4. Divide that by the original weight of this separate wash sample to determine the percentage passing the 200 steps. 